it's your girl Jazz, back with some more lit content. Today I got something new for y'all. I am introducing something brand new on my channel. This is the very, very first video that I've ever done like this. And you see the title and I'm about to tell you what's up. So I'm getting ready to add a new section on my YouTube channel where I rate and review hotel and Airbnb stays. This idea literally just crossed my mind a few days ago and I wanna bring it to surface. I thought it was a good idea for me personally because I love hotels, I love Airbnbs, I love looking at houses and I love apartments. I just am very intrigued by, you know, scenery, different rooms, interior design, all those type things. And when I go on vacation, I really, 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 really look forward to the place I'm gonna stay. I've always been like that and I've always been really into looking at houses and apartments and things like that. I was one of those kids that would go into the grocery store and get one of those home books and flip through and just look at the different houses. That's just me. But I know a lot of people travel and I know a lot of people like getting feedback on certain hotels or Airbnbs that they might be interested in. So I feel like this will be very beneficial to me, my channel, you guys, and anybody out there in the world that is looking for feedback. So. I'm going to be bluntly honest, give you my experience on every place that I record that I stay. So this is my very first video doing this and I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So guys, I am in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma right now and I am at the Aloft at Oklahoma, Quail Springs. So I have never personally stayed in a Aloft. Um, I've been inside of one, but I've never stayed at one. And first and foremost, I'm gonna say they are beautiful hotels. Um, my favorite thing about them is how artsy and how creative they are. Cause you can see a little bit in the background of my wall art there. It's just so different. Like, I don't know, I love it. I'm, I'm very creative and I have a creator mind. So I love things that are artsy, drawn out, painted or anything like that. So. These hotels are super dope in that aspect, and that's why I am drawn to a lofts. Um, but this particular location, this aloft in Oklahoma City, Quail Springs, overall, I would have to give this hotel a three and a half out of five star. And I'm gonna get into my experience, and I'm gonna get into the reason why I am giving them that rating. Um, first and foremost, the customer service, A1. Ladies at the front desk, super nice, super sweet. Didn't have a bad experience with them whatsoever. And I know that's hard to say nowadays because a lot of people are rude and a lot of people do not have the greatest customer service. But I can honestly say the ladies that I have experienced working here have had great customer service. Smile, nice, speak to you, and just treat you kindly. So that's a very big plus. So that's a huge positive that goes into my rating. Um, and overall, like I just said, the hotels are beautiful. My room was super nice. Um, I got a king bed, a little table in the, in the corner there, but you guys will see the video at the end. Um, I had nightstands, I had a steamer, um, the shower was pretty. The, the toilet in there was like separated, it had a little door, you can have your own little privacy. Super nice. But let's get into why I couldn't give them five stars. So, number one. <laughs> number one reason why I couldn't give them five stars is because I feel like housekeeping could have been way better and before I get into details I don't want to knock anybody in that type of position because I know any housekeeping position is extremely difficult it's extremely hard so I give you guys the utmost respect because that is a difficult job um, and I have respect for you all and everything so I'm not throwing shade or hating on anybody I know that's a difficult task but being at this hotel being as nice as it is I feel like housekeeping needs to improve tremendously because of what I've noticed immediately when I checked into my room I noticed a few things that could be a little bit cleaner but you know I'm not tripping on it I'm not mad about it i'm not upset about it i'm not going off on the people at the front desk about it and i'm also not going to google and leaving a nasty review because of it i just pay attention and i've also noticed as i've gotten older i've become more and more of a neat freak and a germaphobe so these type of things stand out to me 
way quicker than the average person, I strongly believe. But let me just tell you a little bit more details on why I think housekeeping could improve. Like I just stated, there were some things in here that I felt could have been cleaned better. Then when I used a towel, I found hair in it. I found hair in the towel and obviously it was not my hair. Um, it was my first time touching the towel. Um, and the hair was long and it was black and it was straight. Clearly I have short curly hair. It wasn't my hair. But you know, just threw it on the floor. I was like, okay, like, you know, put this in a little pile, leave it for housekeeping. And fun fact about me guys, I'm very clean. When I do leave my room, I leave it in good condition. So I'm pretty sure housekeepers are very thankful for people like me because I am, I can be messy, but I'm a neat freak and I, I try to be respectful for others. So, yeah. So I put the towel in the corner. I was like, okay, housekeeping and get this in the morning, whatever. Didn't, didn't think nothing of it. I was just happy to be here, excited to enjoy my stay. Then a couple hours later, I get in my bed, pull down the sheets. There's something sticky, gooey, icky in my sheets. And I'm like, all right, this, this is strange so you know i just you know i was just like okay whatever like i'm not gonna trip it's late i'm tired i'm just gonna go down here and ask for some new sheets simple so i go downstairs the lady was super nice she was like i'm so sorry about that housekeeping is not here right now um i can give you a new set of sheets i'm like yeah that's fine like that's that's completely okay so okay I get the sheets, go on about my day, come back up here, make the bed. As I'm making the bed, I'm finding hairs again. So I'm like, okay, that's kind of nasty. Like, I mean, I know it happens, it's hotels, but it's just like, come on now, bro. Like, these are not my hairs. Like, I don't know whose hair that is. I don't know how clean that person could have been. So that's just nasty to me. But you know, I didn't trip. I literally just, <laughs> got in bed, went to sleep, like brushed it off, washed my hands, went to sleep, right? So I, ex in, in my experience in hotels, housekeeping comes every day. So, you know, the next morning I just get up, not tripping on my experience from last night, I'm like, whatever, just made a pile in the floor of my whole entire blanket, sheets, fitted sheets, all that, put it in the pile with my towel, like, okay, Housekeeping will come and grab this and remake my bed tomorrow. So I'll have new stuff. I'm not even tripping. So I get up, leave, go about my day, come back. My room hadn't been touched. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay, this is different. So I go downstairs, talk to the lady at the front desk. And I was telling her my experience. And I was like, you know, I had hair in my towels. I had hair in my sheets. You also saw me come down here yesterday there was something sticky in my sheets like you know and she apologized she was very sympathetic and like you know she said sorry and she was like I can put you in another room however it does have double beds and you know I wasn't tripping on doing all that I had a very long day it was hot mind you I was working in no AC so I was extremely hot I was exhausted my stuff was already unloaded in here. I did not want to move everything. It was just too much. And I was like, you know what? It's, it's okay. I'm not tripping. Can you just, um, I'm, I'm just not sure why housekeeping didn't come. She was like, oh, they only come if it's requested. And I was like, oh, okay, understood. So I said, can you just give me all new everything and just make sure that housekeeping comes to my room every day? Fix that problem. But it's just like, it has to be requested. I thought it was normal for housekeeping to come every day. And like, the only reason they don't come is if you leave a little door tag basically saying do not disturb. But, you know, I don't know. Every place is different, I guess. So I don't know. So that really threw me for a loop. And I'm just like, okay, that's not really the cleanliness thing. But in general, I will say in hotels overall, I feel like as a business where people come in and out every single day, I feel like they should use a better laundry detergent because the towels here, like one of the towels, my towels smelled like chlorine. I was like, okay, did this just get washed in water? I feel like hotels should use a very good laundry detergent and fabric softener and dryer sheets 
when washing these big loads. But I'm not in the hotel industry. I don't know. That's just something that I feel is necessary. But that's like the main reason why I have to give them three and a half stars out of five for the simple fact of you can tell this building is not very old and the hotel is very very nice so it seems like their housekeeping should meet they they should meet housekeeping shouldn't be down here and this hotel should be really nice you know what i'm saying like it was like hotel way up here on the level of how beautiful it is and how nice the rooms are then housekeeping is down here that don't that don't add up to me so i couldn't give them a five star other lofts could be five stars but my experience at this particular one i can't give five stars but overall i will say i'm very thankful and grateful for my experience because this hotel is beautiful my room was cozy my room was dope um i had a king bed the artwork in here is nice the furniture is cute the tv even says uh welcome jasmine or something like that i'm gonna i'm gonna throw a clip in that clip of that in here as well so i mean the room shower background right here is nice like it, it's a nice hotel like i definitely would stay again i definitely would i'm not saying that i wouldn't it's just those things i feel like need some improvement and another thing a lot why y'all charging for breakfast i think it should be continental i'm pretty sure that, i didn't have to pay for this room but i'm pretty sure these rooms are pretty pricey i think it should come with a free little breakfast you know what i'm saying i think it should include breakfast but you gotta pay for the biscuit or if you want something to drink but i mean <laughs> most nicer hotels you have to pay for the breakfast but i think hotels should all have continental breakfast if you ask my opinion that's just my opinion but overall um there were a lot of things that i did like about this hotel the room like i said was nice um, they are pet friendly. Let me not forget that. They are pet friendly. They have a very nice grassy area outside. Dog stations, lawn is cut clean, good. And then when you first walk into the hotel, they have like a little pet station where they have dog treats. I thought that was dope. And then they have a bar. They have like a little lounge area, super dope. Um, they had tables away from the bar where you can sit and chill. They have a pool. It's a really, really nice hotel and the entrance of the hotel, beautiful. Wait till y'all see the video. I'm, I'm gonna put it at the end, but wait till y'all see it. it. It was definitely giving nice. I really like this hotel. I would definitely stay in a loft again, for sure. Um, but I'm thankful for my experience and I'm very happy that I got to experience this because I have been wanting to stay at a loft. So I was really, 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 really excited when I was told that I was going to be staying here. Like, I am super grateful, super thankful that I got to experience this. And I'm glad I got to experience this and be able to tell you guys about my experience. But other than that, that's pretty much all I have, guys. I am super excited to show y'all the tour. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But I'm going to go ahead and close off talking and <laughs> let you guys watch that. But before I do, make sure you like this video. Make sure you drop some comments. If you're new in here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you really enjoy my content, make sure you tap that notification bell. And I'm super, 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 super excited to be bringing this new um, category on my channel. Please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. But other than that, until next time, deuce. But pause, stay tuned, gang. I'm about to upload the tour.